Hello everyone, it's Adam here. It's uh, Sunday, day before MLK Day. Happy MLK Day, everyone. Um, I won't get political, but you know, it's a good thing to celebrate. Uh, today we were driving over to the off-site beer cellar, as I have my warm clothes on, and we're gonna reorganize some beer. Some of the boxes have started to mold. Um, one of my bottles is broken. One of my really expensive bottles is broken due to falling. Uh, so we're gonna put everything into new boxes, relabel, clean some mold off the bottles, and then we're gonna prepare it to move over to the new house, for which we will have a beer cellar, which is gonna be awesome. So let's go. So here we are, we have some boxes. We have some uh, microfiber towels, some glass cleaner for the mold. Um, don't use Clorox, we wanna bleach out the labels. And some of the labels are falling apart off the older beers. So we'll have to wrap them up in the, uh, the tape here. Of course, I bought some glassware and a corkscrew because we're gonna drink a little bit too. But it is really pretty today. Hello. Hello everyone. So, yeah. We're gonna drive over, I'm waiting for Heather to get ready. We're gonna drive over and get started. Okay, here we are in the, the cellar. So as you guys was doing before, you know, stuff has started to fall down because the boxes are getting soggy. Oh, the, no. the newer boxes are fine. These are all Heather's over here, so she's fine. But my stuff is a little too, too old. So we're gonna replace some of it with newer boxes. Um, you know, a lot of the champagne is fine, but like I was talking about earlier, i turn the light on for you guys, but I had some of these uh, blueberry lambics that had, that had broken. I don't know what broke in that one. Something fell. So I'd like to see. Can you open it up, Heather? This guy? Yeah. Is it an Adam box or a Heather box? Oh, it was empty. It's empty. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, that's good. It's breaking. It's not wet, though, is it? A little. No, no, no. I think okay. it's okay. All right. Cool. Well, so, time to start transferring some stuff. Guess we'll get to it. A lot of beer down here. A lot of beer and champagne. I guess we just won't really focus on whose is whose. We'll just label it as we go. Yeah. What are we going to drink? I don't know. I was going to open like a, one of my Lambics. Yeah? Use mine. How about an Anchorage or a Sante Works of Love? That's right. I think this is the worst pile that we'll need to replace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we'd go from here and over because okay. this was the for very first yep. that we did. Good and idea. Then, and how, far, how far over we can get on that would be good. Did we never open these Tarlant? Are these all are these champagnes still sealed? Yes. Tarlant? Wow. We haven't opened any of our. So we have two reserve, a rose, two prestige. French champagne. And a rose prestige. Nice. That's exciting. Yeah. Alright, sweet. That's what we opened a blah bear. If I have 375, it's over there. We should just open one. Whatever Adam wants to do. All right, here we go. All right, so we've moved a lot of the moldy bottles out of the way, or boxes out of the way. So Heather's going through to try to find something for us to drink. <laughs> so basically, all these bottles are, ooh, a Vig? Yeah. What year Vig is it? 14. Nice. Um, all these boxes here are pretty moldy. So we're basically gonna repack all these and take some inventory as well. So, a lot of work to do. But first, we're gonna open a beer. Uh, where is my, oh, there it is. Can I hand you a glass? Please. And I'll get the opener for you. I need two glasses. You do? Here's this. Was it upright? Was it upright? Yes. Sweet. All of mine has been upright. Oh, okay. It's yours that's always been sideways. Oh, passcode required. Was it leaking? No, no leak. No. Wow, nice. Very much songs going on here, Heather. Uh, My 51 songs. <sighs> I have a couple more of these in that box, so not like I'm opening anything I don't have more of. Right. Let's 
so clear. Yeah. Yep. I wanna, I'm curious how dry the cork is too when we finally got to ah, get stuff recording. Good carb. Look, it might be a little flat. Hold? Yep. It went a little flat, but I got a little olive brine, but the rest of the beer is still good. Still definitely like just grapey. Oh. Guess I'm. I just need to keep it upright then. Should have one of your stupid baskets. Oh yeah. Well, we didn't bring any with us. Different years? No, I think Golden Dojo was a uh, was all one year. I bought a bunch of them. Yeah, it was all 2012. So and remember, it's 2012 vintage. It was meant to be golden blend. It didn't carbonate, so they they relabeled it golden dojo. So it's basically flat golden blend, which some of it ended up carbonating. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're making some progress. These are all boxes that were falling apart, that had to be redone. But it is looking better over here. Everything over here now is basically sound and good. Yeah, it's all pretty much good. Uh, I moved all my magnums over there. The 1.5 liter bottles, those of you that are not beer people or wine people. Uh, I need to also need to, this is a bunch of shrams meat. I need to move into a new box as well. We are making some good progress. All right, well, we are breaking down boxes that were moldy. So we're making a little pile here to put in the trash. Heather found some old wine. And we're going to take this to a beer tasting on uh, Friday. So TJ hasn't rated these. So we've got Aaron, uh, we've got a uh, 15 Creek, Midnight Brett, uh, GOMs for Heather and I to open. I think it's a January 16 GOM. Uh, 15 Goose and a 2012 Norma. But back here, you guys can see that, oh, we drank uh, the Dojol, which was flat, unfortunately, and we drank the, um, the Vig, Viggy, Viggy, Viggy. So there's a couple boxes that are still questionable. That's a little white, white mold over there, but all right, I think we did okay. All these are new boxes, so and we're, as of April, they're going to be moved to another location, so I'm not too worried about them lasting forever now. But, uh, hey, it's about 90% beer and 10% wine? I'd say it's more than that. So 95% beer, 10% wine. All the magnums are safely underneath the blanket because there is a window here, so I don't want to have light coming in but yeah it's uh it's a lot of beer but delicious beautiful beer oh beer and obviously about one or two percent of mead as well that uh, includes the video i think we're gonna keep breaking on some boxes thanks for watching